All right, I recently purchased a Quantum Nova quadcopter. Uh, there, I have the Nova Quantum Nova transmitter here. A tablet running the tower, the 3DR telemetry system. And I have two sets, or a total of four, radio transmitters. These are the 915 megahertz transmitters through Hobby King. Everything's through Hobby King. Um, I'm having a problem with X when it's connected through the micro USB port and it's not able to communicate with any of the other radio modules. When it's connected through the quadcopter, it can communicate fine. The difference is, is that when it's connected to the tablet, it's using the micro USB port, which I think is bad. And when it's connected through the quadcopter, it's using the port on the bottom of the uh, radio telemetry module. Let's focus in. Oh, you can see the two connections there. So, I'm going to plug one in just to show what it looks like when it runs properly. It's the tablet, the screen flashed. Usually does that when it recognizes a new USB connection. I have X connected through the quadcopter through that lower port, the white connection port, and I have one connected through the tablet through the micro USB port. I'll press the connect button. On the tab tablet, you'll get an audible confirmation that it is connected, and the white circle connect button down here now switches over to a rectangular box that has two buttons in there you can press. The modules are flashing the orange lights showing that they are exchanging data properly. So that's what it looks like when it connects correctly. Switch out module one for module two. Let's recognize the new USB connection. We have a green light on two. We'll wait until that goes solid. All right, so we have a solid green connection on both modules X and 2. We'll press the connect button. Immediately connects through the white circular connect button, changes to a connected. rectangular box and gives you the audible confirmation. You'll see on the two modules we have solid greens and flashing oranges. They are transmitting data correctly or between the two of them. Now I'll take two out. Unplug X from the quadcopter and now this is where the problem sets in. I'll take the micro USB and plug it into X and you'll see on the tablet it didn't even flash the screen where it recognized that there was a new connection it just stayed the same. And I'll plug in one to the quadcopter using the lower connection the white uh, connection on the bottom. We'll wait till both modules have a green solid light takes a lot longer too with X uh, waiting for that green light to stop flashing when X is plugged into the tablet through the micro USB port. Alright, we have a solid green light on both modules X and 1. Press the connect button on the tablet and I get an error message saying Connection failed, no device is found. That's the first time we've seen that now. And just to show, show what that looks like on the screen, press the connect button and there's the error. Connection failed, no device is found. So it's not recognizing X when it's plugged in using the micro USB connection. So I'll take X off tablet and one off the quadcopter. And plug three in through a US, micro USB. See the screen flash. It's recognizing there's a device immediately. I'll take two and plug it in using the lower port to the 
quadcopter. It's all green lights almost instantly. Now I'll wait till that cycles through one more time. solid green light on both modules. We have the flashing red or orange light on number two. We'll press the connect button on the tablet. The circle connect button switched over to the rectangular white box. And you have the audible confirmation that there's a connection. You also see on modules two and three the flashing orange lights showing that they are transmitting data. And the lights are still green. And we'll switch these two out. So we'll put Take two off of the quadcopter, plug that in to the micro USB, and we'll take three, plug that into the quadcopter. So we're just switching connections. The screen again flash, recognizing that there's a new USB device connected. We have a solid green light on both two and three with the flashing reddish orange on three. Press the connect button. The connect button switches over to the right rectangular box Connected. and you have an audible confirmation as well as a visual confirmation because the orange lights are flashing between the two modules. So two and three are able to connect to each other no matter which one is plugged in uh, to the micro USB or to the quadcopter. And just to show one more time when X is plugged in. Now X is feeling pretty warm too compared to any of these other ones. These other ones are pretty cold. Like one and two, or correction, two and three are cold to the touch. X is still pretty warm. One is, there's no temperature or heat to it, but X has got some heat to it. I'll take, sorry, we're gonna do this other way. We'll take one and plug it into the micro USB because this is the way that seems to work. Again, the screen flashed here showing that it recognized the fact that there's a USB device connected. Plug X into the quadcopter. We have a solid green light on both. Flashing light on X only. Press the connect button on the tablet. White connect button disappears, rectangular box appears. Connected. Audible confirmation of the connection and visual confirmation because they're both flashing the lights. So in this form, X works, or this layout. I'll take these two and switch them again. Now you'll notice when I plug X in through the micro USB instead of the screen flashing and recognizing that there's a new USB device connected, it won't do anything. Now it does show that there's power to it because it's got the green light. And so that's X is connected to the micro USB. One we're connecting again to the quad using that lower port. Wait for X to stop flashing on the green light. We have a solid green on both of them. I'm going to press the connect button on the tablet. And we get the error message. Connection failed, no device found. Close up on that again. Connection failed, no device found. So hopefully that shows you that there must be something wrong with X. And X is much warmer than one is. One has a little bit of warmth to it, but I mean, it's barely noticeable. X is, is pretty warm and it's not working through the micro USB. So I'd like to 
get this sent in for RMA and get this module swapped out or exchange the, the set together.